Margaret Laughlin Carpenter was one of the first stars in the volleyball court for the Saints. An NAIA All District 6 selection in 1981, Laughlin helped lead Limestone Women's Volleyball to a District 6 championship and a first ever berth in the NAIA National Championships in Athens, West Virginia that same year. After helping lead the Saints to a victory over Erskine in the District 6 championship to become the first program in Limestone Athletics to reach a national tournament, Laughlin and her teammates continued to make history, winning the opening set 15-5 against Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, before the Yellow Jackets notched a 2-1 win. Margaret Laughlin. Uh, it took a few minutes for me to remember who Margaret Laughlin was because in my mind you have always been Freck. Uh, but what, a, what great memories we have of a young woman who was such a natural talent on the volleyball court, who was so, so instrumental in leading our team to a District 6 championship and, and our trip to the national championship I think we all enjoyed but I know you especially enjoyed it. What do I remember most about you besides the fact that you were a great volleyball player? I remember that you enjoyed life and you had a lot of fun and uh, as we as we grew up together and, and became a team you were always instrumental in, in leading our team to, to many wonderful memories. Facing some of the toughest competition in the country Limestone faced Missouri Western, dropping a narrow 15-11-15-7 decision and eventual 1981 national runner-up Southwestern Texas to complete the first national tournament appearance in school history. Laughlin currently resides in Fairbanks, Alaska and is that city's metro area transport planner for the Alaska Department of Transportation. Margaret, I hope that today that you're having as much fun in Alaska as you had in Gaffney those years you were there. Congratulations, Margaret. It could not be more deserving of anyone than for you to be named to the Hall of Fame at Limestone College. Please welcome our third inductee of the class of 2013, Margaret Laughlin Carpenter.